Hi there, friends. I am super excited that you took time to watch today. We are about to have such a fun conversation with two young actors who are in a brand new musical movie about Christmas called It's Christmas Again. It's going to be a one night only in theaters. And guess what? These two beautiful young people are right here in the studio with us today. My name is Jean Thomason, and this is Momentum Influence. Network. So look right here, I have with me Darby Capolino and Lawson Tuliatis, and the two of them star in this brand new movie. I'm super excited because I've just watched the whole thing. And these these two kids right here, they haven't even been able to see we the haven't. whole thing. We I haven't. know, can't even believe. We, we didn't. I can't even believe I got to see it and yeah, already, and you didn't see it. Well, I can't wait to find out their take on their experience in the whole process of acting and singing and dancing in the show, and then let you know a lot about this movie, which is going to be one day only in theaters on November the twenty. Ninth. Ninth. Uh, November the 29th, one day only, and I hope that it will be um, something that you will decide to do and take your family and friends, and especially some kids, if you have some that are interested in music and fun. Didn't you, did you think that that was a fun part? Yeah, the big production numbers were obviously extremely fun to, to film and everything, and I'm sure they're super fun to watch. Um, <laughs> we would know. We yeah, would know. I would, I would like to say to that I know they're super fun to watch, but I am sure they are. <laughs> and uh, I would say it gives off a Glee kind of vibe yeah, um, yeah. with because of just how large the production is, all the dancers and everything, just yes. a very fun environment. And I'll but. say, like, I, I grew up surrounded by musicals, always on the television. So when I got the little part, I was very excited because I was like, oh, I get to, like, lip sync to myself and all that. And it was, it was really fun. Good. Good. Well, I loved that number that you were in, well, both of you together in front of the high school. But I do want to say to those of you who are watching, one of the fun things about this particular movie is, guess what? It was filmed right here in Franklin, Tennessee. That's where I live. That's where Darby lives. Lawson now lives in Nashville since he's a student at Belmont University. But he's a Tennessee boy from Memphis, so you're not too far away. How much fun was it to be in during Christmas in the snow in downtown Franklin? Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah. I mean, I really love the, the city of Franklin and Nashville in general. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, my brother lives up here. He has for a while. He goes to Vanderbilt. And so I had already spent a lot of time up here. I knew I loved the city, but I had never experienced it in, uh, in the a snow. Yeah, yes. a snowy environment. So it was just a, a really like a different take on a familiar feeling, and it was really nice. Great. Well, before we talk about the content, I'd like to know how did the creators of this movie find both of you? How did they find you, Miss Darby? So a mutual casting director I worked with um, on a YouTube series called Mother Goose Club Playhouse. I was <laughs> I was ten years old, and I worked with her for a couple years, and she mutually knew um, the producers and directors, and so she reached out and asked if I was interested in, you know, doing this part, and I was like, duh! <laughs> um, yes, and I didn't fun. even audition for it, oh. so... <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it was super fun. I, I filmed for one day only, but mm -hmm. it, was, it was a day full of new friendships and just a lot of fun memories so how, how about you Lawson how'd they find you yeah so I had a very different experience than that I did audition <laughs> Good for you. um I I went through the the usual process I, I did the audition um I sung a few songs I got a call back and I ended up having to uh like zoom with the with the directors and with the uh other co-lead and um then after a little bit of waiting, I heard back that I got the part, and uh, I was very excited about it, obviously. And then the filming was very fun. It was over the course of a total of about three weeks, all kind of, you know, interspersed uh, throughout different times. And... Uh, just a fun experience overall, yeah. That is so great. I love it that this movie is about young people, about teenagers in high school, who've... And, and um, 
Lawson, who's the lead actor, has a girlfriend in the show, and the two of them being teenagers are talking about Christmas, and one of them wants to go skiing, that's you, and then Abby wants to be in the Christmas play, so they have this little bit of a chat about what's more important kind of thing. So how do you think this movie will resonate with teenagers? I think it resonates well with teenagers yeah. because especially towards the beginning of the movie, huh. it, it kind of does lay out that pretty tr normal nowadays yes. idea of like, well, you know, the holiday is great because it's a holiday. It's fun and, and we, we got to just do whatever we want. Uh, but, you know, undermining all the tradition and... and um, and the real importance of yeah. the holiday, the reason we actually celebrate it. And um, yeah, I think throughout the movie, you kind of see a realistic-ish <laughs> depiction of, um, you know, my character realizing what really is important, um, even though he didn't think that way originally. And um, I think that can be something that a lot of people could resonate with. That That's well said. And I... It was very interesting, too, because one of the things that you'll see in the movie that I thought was interesting because I'm a mommy was that his parents were insisting that he wear a helmet, which he did not do. And as a result, <laughs> um, he had an accident on a skateboard. How many times did you have to run into that car before it was oh. a take? <laughs> oh, man. I had to run into that car so many times. Oh <laughs> I, I dented the car. Did we you? Yeah, we, we bent the door, like, oh completely backwards. It was... It was a long, it was a long day. <laughs> um, wow. um, I don't know, probably like 10 to 15 times. Yes. <laughs> so before you had your accident on the skateboard, you were at school um, with it, talking to Abby. And as you were leaving school, you're all excited. And that's where Darby got to do um, this big number. So talk about how much fun that was and the dancers and, um, and learning that kind of rap stuff. That was really great. <clears throat> well, I will say, when I got the song, having to learn it, I was like, ooh, I kind of got to talk rap. I don't know <laughs> if I can do that well, because I, I like to sing. That's mm -hmm. my wheelhouse. So doing this little talky, rappy part, I was kind of like, I hope I do it okay. But it was really fun because I didn't have to dance, and I let the n very talented dancers do it. And they were awesome. I mean, we did that scene a decent amount of times and mm. the amount of flips and I was scared. I was like, please don't hit your head. Yeah. But all the dancers were so phenomenal and I was just in awe because all I did was do, do my little rappy part and then I walked away. But it, w it was so much fun and there was ice on the ground. So that was a little hazard that everybody had to mm. put into consideration. Right. But so many people were working to shovel and put salt down and very thankful for those people. How does your family focus on the birth of Jesus during Christmas? Oh, we, we set up, um, you know, uh, the nativity scene in the front yard every year. Uh, we have devotionals. On the morning of Christmas, actually, my parents always wake us up um, and take us downstairs uh, back into their room and um, we have to, we, we go through devotionals and, and uh, we talk about the, the nativity story mm -hmm. and um, all those things before we go out and do any like a present opening or anything like that to make sure that we, you know, start the day knowing what's actually important right. before getting into the rest. Yeah. Okay, Darby, tell us about your great Christmas traditions. <laughs> well, I am... A daughter of a very musical home and me and my mom sing and um, the last few Christmases we do the Christmas Eve service at church so that's been a really sweet tradition um, that we've been doing and we'll do that for a few Christmas Eves we went to Chili's afterwards <laughs> and we always are just like what are we doing and I think I've had the best memories with my parents and my little brother there because it's just like fun and spontaneous yeah. and all that but we'll come home my dad usually gives us donuts and I have donuts on Christmas and it's it's really sweet but I, I do love singing at sure. church for the Christmas Eve service it's really special and 
doing it with my mom is super special. I had a thought after watching this, and I hope this is also not too much of a spoiler, but it reminded me a bit of It's a Wonderful Life mm. because the main character there wakes up in a place where they're, everything is different. Mm -hmm. This is what happens to Jake. He wakes up and Christmas is no more. And so, hence the title, It's Christmas Again. <laughs> I wondered how you think that people will relate to that and how that might encourage them and remind them of what's important at Christmas. Um, it's, it's actually funny that you mentioned It's a Wonderful Life because that's my dad's favorite movie oh, and I've that. seen it so many times that we were talking about that on set a lot uh, wow. of about It's a Wonderful Life and, and uh, some references actually throughout the movie uh, with it and everything. But um, I, I think in general, just relating to the movie, uh, I think Jake's storyline is, is very relatable from, especially from the beginning, you can kind of see where he's coming from, even if it doesn't seem like necessarily the perfect way to go about things. And so to see him change uh, through the course of the movie, it, it kind of, to me at least, kind of puts into perspective what, uh, why we need to think the way that uh, Jake learns to think and um, and how easy it can be to, to go out and help some people, mm -hmm. um, especially on just one day like Christmas. Thank you so much for all that you had to tell us about your experiences in this movie. It's Christmas again. So we hope you're getting ready like we're ready for Christmas and that you will be excited to take your friends and your family right after Thanksgiving to the theaters on one day only ready November, November 29th. 29th it's Christmas again you can find out more about it if you want just go to it's Christmas again movie.com and we hope that you will enjoy this right after Thanksgiving as you're getting your hearts prepared for the advent the coming of the Lord Jesus to celebrate him thanks for listening today